Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on a way to customize the color of this cover Aurora effects uh, through the time of day system. So I have exposed a color parameter in the time of day system so that you will be able to uh, use any color you want for these auroras. And yeah, that's what we are going to work on today. How to implement this variable to allow customizing the color of aurora effect. So this is how it looks if I change the color to gray. Where's the preview? Okay, so in the current system, these colors are directly coming from uh, the texture itself. So we have no way to modify the colors through the uh, Niagara particle. So what I'm going to do is let me color it. Let me duplicate the same material in Aurora color because I'm going to keep the original one. Uh, because I kind of like the color that I already have, but I just want to demonstrate how to modify the colors so that you can have the auroras in any color you need. So let me set the default material as this colored material and let me open that. Now, instead of using this RGB value, let me connect to the red channel so that it becomes white now I already have this particle color node here let me take it over here and multiply with the RBG color of the particle color with this uh, with this uh, red channel output and connect here so that this is still white but when i apply a color from the niagara system we should get different colors so now let me apply this open the niagara effect oh, we don't really see anything here but if I just drag and drop yeah I see white but we can change it here in the initialized particle it's white so if I make it red and we can increase the intensity to infinite this now we should see wait do I have skin color here yeah see now you see it's red and just like that if you want to have a different color let's say green Now it's great, see? So it's very simple. So now I'll promote this. Can we use a user widget here? Yeah. Here. Uh, just click on this drop down and tap user. Create from new user parameter. If I click on that, now I get a new uh, variable, a user exposed variable named color. So now I can access this from the blueprint and directly modify it. It's a linear color. So how to do that? Let me delete it. I don't need it. Go into the time of 
and here you should do that where yeah, I've seen here in the construction script NS Aurora uh, color set color parameter no no this is not the function set my uh, variable linear color yeah this so also you can see the color is exposed here as well wait is that the one i got when i just say color uh, maybe but we can i'm not really sure so let me just rename this and see our uh, color compile now it says aurora color no it's okay let me copy this name aurora color user dot aurora color in value i'll promote this to a variable and make it public by default i'll give it green like this so make sure that if is one otherwise we won't see that so now you see the color is green so if i play you see uh, the aurora in green and if I want to set it to red it should become red like this so yeah that's how you customize the color and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye